Hey, I just wanted to make a quick video to show you how you can adjust your uh, ignition timing on anything with a distributor. If you're not quite sure what you're looking at, this is a distributor. There's a little rotor in there that spins around and touches all these little points that sends the electricity to your spark plugs through these wires. What you're gonna need is, well, first, I mean, you're gonna need your keys to your car and you're gonna need a timing light. You can use just a regular inductive one, which just flashes, this one's fancy. You can do RPM or advanced. I'll show you how this one works. And in this case, you're gonna need a 9 16 wrench. So you need to make sure your car is running. Ideally, you should do this when the engine is at uh, operating temperature. So for starters, on a lot of road vehicles, you will have a vacuum advance canister here. You're gonna wanna disconnect that. What vacuum advance does is based on the vacuum from the engine, it will advance the timing a few degrees. And so you wanna disconnect that just in case engine speed, you know, when engine speed increases and decreases, uh, that vacuum will change. So you don't want the vacuum to mess with your initial mechanical base timing. It's like we're idling a little quick. So let's try and kick it down if we can. So there we go. Hooking up your timing light is really super simple. On a timing light, you have this piece, which you clip onto your cylinder one spark plug wire. And then you have your positive and negative leads and you just hook them up to the corresponding place on your battery. So here we go, we have these hooked up. And on Chevy, cylinder number one is right here. And we have it hooked up to that spark plug wire. And as you can see, that's flashing. That's what you want. But also be careful with the wires, they don't hit the fan. So you can see that when you shine on your harmonic balancer there, it'll flash whenever cylinder one fires. So if we put this at zero here, it'll be like your normal timing light. And we can count those little marks. In this case, it's two degrees each, and it's two, four, six, eight degrees before top dead center. On these fancy timing lights like what I have, you hold this button until that mark aligns with the zero. And then look at this number and you, it'll tell you how many degrees advanced you are. The next thing you do is you're gonna wanna take your 9 16 wrench and you're gonna wanna loosen up a little hold down bolt uh, for the clamp on the distributor just enough so that you can turn the distributor a little bit one way or the other. Okay, so I've loosened up that bolt. Now for ignition timing, when you retard the timing, engine speed will drop and you're having the spark ignite closer to top dead center. And when you advance ignition timing, the spark will happen further before top dead center and engine speed will increase. So here we have our distributor and we're just going to turn it. When I turn it this way, you can hear engine speed dropping. And when I turn it this way, engine speed will increase. So let's get it back down a little bit. So now that I've adjusted it a little bit, we'll see where we are. So let's look at those marks there. It's hitting at about the third one up, which is about six degrees before top dead center. So that's six degrees advance. Let's test that. Let's bring this up to six. See if it lines up to zero. And it sure does. So once you're happy with your base ignition timing, you just go ahead and you tighten down your uh, little hold down bolt, reconnect your vacuum advance, and then you're good to go. And that is how you adjust base ignition timing with a timing light on a car with a distributor. In this case, a uh, 67 Chevy 283. There you go. I hope you learned something.